First and foremost, I want to give all first and foremost, I want to give all honor, praises, and glory to the most high Yahweh. Also to the true black Messiah, the King of Kings, royal to himself, Yahweh Shah. Also to the final fall of this truth out of one west. This is Fallen Kings coming right back at you with this truth. Another lesson. The name of this class is regeneration. Understanding regeneration. Is it is it real? Do it exist? Is it in the Bible? And I'm going to prove to you and answer to you all your questions. Because a lot of people might think this is far fetched, far fetched. But it is in the Bible. It is biblical. So let me go right into the scriptures real quick. I'm going to start off in the book of Ecclesiastes. This is the wise man that ever lived talking. Vanity of vanity, says the preacher. Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 2 through. I'm going to start off. I'm going to go from chapter 1 all the way down to verse 5. So hope you got your um, Bibles ready. It's King James Version. Vanity of vanity, says the preacher. Vanity of vanity, all in vanity. What profit have a man of all his labor, which he have taken under the sun? Meaning, you know, the lot you live, the life you live. Like, what profit is this, this life? He's talking about the colonel man there. He ain't talking about the spiritual man. You know, what's profit in this life? Because, you know, you you redo it again. You you know, you relive it. All right, let me get the, let me get the third verse. Third verse. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, come on, verse 4. I mean, you know, clap, Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 4 now. All right. Okay. Okay. One generation passes away and another generation cometh, meaning that, you know, like our grand, our grandfathers, our great-grandmothers, our great-grandfathers, and our, you know, they passed on. That's what it means. Like the generation before us, they went on and they passed on, you know, into the spiritual world. But, and we came and replaced their, their spots on the earth. That's why you see the sign of the regeneration here of like the evaporation. You know, they call it the hydro, hydrologic, hydro, hydrologic cycle, but it's the same thing as, as um, evaporation. Like um, in the same example of regeneration. You see how the water going in cycles, it goes into the sun, then the water goes down and evaporates, go back, then it turn in the form of a rain, and it's like an ongoing cycle. And you're going to prove in the lesson that, hey, that's how the souls of men are. You know what I mean? That's why it's going to be a judgment day. We read the book of Daniel chapter 12. Some should work for everlasting life. Some will work for everlasting shame and contempt. In other words, you're going to be judged for all the past lives that you lived. You know what I mean? So you're not going to come back a, a righteous person if you was wicked. You're not going to come back having wisdom if you didn't have wisdom in the past. It don't work that way. You're going to come back in your lot. You're going to come back doing what you did in your past life. All right. Um... Well, they do. Let me get right to the scriptures. It says, um, I'm Ecclesiastes chapter 1, um, verse 4 now. One generation passes away and another generation is coming, but the earth abides forever. I mean, the earth abides forever, you know what I mean? And it's going to show you the spirit of man, how, spirit, how the spirit of man be regenerated. It says the sun also arises and the sun goeth down, like what you said in the picture in the description there. The sun also arises and the sun goes down and hastens to the, his place where it arose. See, it's an ongoing cycle. Um, Solomon comparing the spirit of man to in a form of, quote unquote, in this scientific form they call it evaporation. Or what they call it, the hydro, hydrologic cycle, <laughs> which is the same thing. The, um, the um, Verse 6 now. Chapter um Ecclesiastes chapter um, one verse six. The wind go um the wind goeth towards the south and a turn about into the north north um uh, The wind goeth towards the south and turn about into the north, where the bow continually, and the wind returning it again according to its circuit, meaning it's a recycle. It's a recycle of of the wind and evaporation. You know what I mean? I mean, it's the exact same rain. So the exact same rain being the same spot for many, many years. It's the same exact water. <laughs> it's crazy. All the rivers run into the sea, yet the sea is not full. Into the it's like you, all the rivers run into the sea, and yet the sea is not full. That's why the water in the ocean don't never rise above a certain level. It always stays into that same place because it's the form of what they call the hydraulic hydrologic cycle with or a form quote unquote evaporation that's what you see in there 
All the rivers run into the sea, yet the sea is not filled. Fool. Okay, into, okay. All the rivers run into the sea, yet the sea is not full. Into the place from which the river come. There it, um, um, there it, they return again. All right, let me get the other verse now. This is um, verse 8. This is verse 8. All right. It says, all all things are full of labor. Man cannot utter it. The eye is not satisfied with sin, nor the ear is filled with hearing, meaning you're not going to be overwhelmed with your past lives. That's what that's going into. You're not going to be, you're not, you're not going to remember 20 some, 20 some lives back because it'd be too much. It'd be overwhelming. That's why it says, um, that's why it says that, um, that's why it says that the ears, um, so like that's why it says that the eyes is not satisfied with seeing nor the ears filled with hearing because it'd be too much for you to comprehend. All right. Verse nine. Now, the thing that have been is that which shall be done. So like it, the thing that has been is that which shall be and that which is done is that shall be done. And there is no new things under the sun, meaning that if he was a wicked two thirds sellout, sold out, you're going to come back in that lot. If he was a wicked woman that didn't support a man with wisdom, didn't have, didn't want a man of understanding and knowledge and discretion, you're going to come back burfing in monsters. If he was a righteous man, had wisdom, had swag about yourself and intellect, you're going to come back in your lot. You're going to come back fearing the most high. You're going to come back walking up in understanding and discretion. You're going to come back using wisdom and discretion. Okay? You're not going to come back Wicked if he was righteous. You're not going to come back righteous if he was wicked. That's why King Solomon said that vanity is vanity. All is vanity. Because he knew that man's spirit was going to come back doing the same thing. It's just the most high is so gracious and so merciful and he's so good that he still aligned those spirits that he know is not going to repent, that he know they was going to sell out from the beginning of time. He still gave them a chance to get it right. But they walked in darkness this is verse 10 now it says is there anything the whereof might be said see if this is new meaning those babies has died you know and uh, stillborn babies those those spirits been here before I know they call it miscarriage, but you know, dumb spirits been here before. There is th th um is there anything wherefore it might be said this see this is new? It has been already of old, which was before us. I mean it was which before us, you know. All right. And there is there is no remembrance of former things. Remember, I told you earlier in the lesson that you, that's why it says the eyes, um, the ears is never, um, the eyes is never filled, um, because you you would, it'll be too much for you to comprehend all your lives. All right. There is no remembrance of former things. Neither shall there be any remembrance of the things that are to come, which though there should come after. Meaning, you're not going to remember your past life. All right, I'm going to wrap it up here because I don't want to take too long. And I, okay, all right, and it's going into the other um, preacher. Oh, he said, this is what is going on with um, Salaki. This is what the preacher goes into, which is King Solomon. Uh, uh, he said, I'm the preacher was the king over, over Israel in Jerusalem. And um, he's going to come back being the king of Jerusalem when he come back and take down this kingdom here. All right, um. But I just wanted to bring that lesson out um, just to show you that, you know, um, you know, you're going to come back doing what you're doing, what you do. You feel me? If you didn't believe in Yahweh Shah back then, you're not going to come back believing in Yahweh Shah. If you didn't have wisdom back then, you're not going to come back and have wisdom now. It don't work that way. That's why you read the book of Daniel uh, where it says that... Um, we read the book of Daniel, it's, you know, that's why it says that, um, 
Social worker, wake up to everlasting life. Social worker, will never shave and contempt. Because it's a, it's a, you know, because they got to get judged for all your lives, all your past lives. Um, what other verse I wanted to get? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I just want to show you how King Sodom is seeing the future. That's why he was like, man, I got to come back and live this life again. He was like, all oh, this is vanity. And vexation of spirit. Vexation of spirit. Because he was like, man, I got to come back and do this again. <laughs> He got to come back, and if you have if you haven't noticed, I'm gonna do another. It's plenty of scriptures. The brother got plenty of scriptures on the King Simon. You know, is Shah. You know what I mean? Um, it's a lot of scriptures on that. Um, the brothers got lessons on that. I I, I go on YouTube to check it out. Many Israelite camps got that, but I'm not gonna go too deep into it. But I'm just gonna touch into it just a little bit here. I'm gonna get ready to wrap it up. Sorry, knowledge. Have given me certain knowledge. All right, cool. I want to get to the verse where he says. Okay, so like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to use this verse right here. Yep, I'm going to use this here, go over here. It says, for this is wisdom of Solomon in Apocrypha, chapter 7, verse 17. Chapter 7, verse 17 in Apocrypha. For he has given me certain knowledge of the things which that they are namely to know. So like, yeah, for he has given me certain knowledge of the things that are namely to know. How the world was made, the operation of the elements, like how you see co um, copper, the, um, the, um, the electronic neutrons. Of electricity, King Solomon knew all these different things back in the past lives, back in the, back when he was King Solomon. The and this and this that's one of the many reasons why the other nations tried to take down Israel. You think they just took down Israel because they you know just want to take down Israel? It was a reason why they wanted to take down Israel, because we was operating. King Solomon was operating on a whole nother level, man. For he has given me certain knowledge of the things that are namely to know how the world was made, the operation of the elements, the beginning, the ending, in the midst of time. So King Solomon knew the beginning, the ending, in the midst of times. In the authorization of the turning of the sun. That's why I went to that picture you seen there on your screen to show you the operation of the sun, evaporation and everything of the spirits of men. So he knew that. And he also knew the change of the seasons in the circuits of years. So he knew how the different circuits of years go. He knew the different regeneration, the new, the new different times and and um, mysteries of you know of the times. So he knew that the spirits back in those times weren't going to change. He knew they were going to come back doing the same thing. That's why he said vanity, vanity, all is vanity. He also knew the righteous were going to come back doing their, their good deeds and walking in the laws, statutes, and commandments, and also trying their best to wake up Israel and teach you know teach their people or whatever good works they doing you know. Um, giving alms, helping out their nation, whatever it is, they do, they're going to come back doing those great works. And uh, this, I hope the lesson was very fine. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. Also, the final father, the truth out of one West, Salakia. Let me repeat that again. I want to give all honor, praises, and glory to the Most High Yahweh and his holy purchase son, the true black Messiah, the King of Kings, royal to himself, Yahweh Shah. Also, the final father, the truth out of one West. This fallen king is coming up and get you another lesson. Fallen but not forgotten. Shalom. Shalom Israel. Shalom.